Guys, support closing! Roger, Alpha, enemy position identified, over. Number of guys that are self employed, we've got some guys that are in the fire service, police service, small companies, big companies. They, they come from all over. I'm on Civic Street, I'm a fire truck engineer. I'm a residential care officer from Preston, Lancashire. I work for Powergen Electric Board. Well, normally I'm a financial advisor. I'm a security officer. I'm an engineer. A uh, lorry driver. I'm a teacher. I'm a self-employed delivery driver. Computer consultant. Barman in a hotel. A gas engineer for the family firm. I'm at college at the minute, studying chemical engineering. In Surrey Street, I'm a management consultant. I work in telesales in my job. This year is, for me, just a different way of life. It brings so many skills to me, and I'm so glad that I decided to join. Something completely different from what I do during the week. And if it wasn't, I don't think I'd enjoy it so much. Some of the weekends I've done, I'm totally uh, knackered by the time at the end of it. But I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I joined the TA because I wanted some new challenges in my life. Basically, I was a student at the time, and I was looking for a bit of extra income. Uh, I didn't want to work in a bar or a nightclub or whatever else, so I thought I'd seek a more kind of active job and something that'd benefit me as well. Yes, you do get a lot of satisfaction from it. As soon as you put on your uniform, it's so easy to slip into a TA role. With every TA unit, though, for the first sort of 12, 18 months, all you do is infantry skills, because at, at the end of the day, you are a soldier first always. I'd like to continue up the rank structure. Whatever your background educationally, there's no ceiling. It's based on your experience and your input to the unit. If they put the time in, they show the effort and everything else, then in theory they can go as far as they want to. To do the minimum TA commitment in your own personal life isn't too difficult at all. It's quite easy to juggle the two of them. TA is pretty flexible. I mean, you really need to, need to do it it's 27 days a year. The annual amount that you have to do, the hours you put in, is, is absolutely minimal. Some people work very bizarre shifts, but they still manage it. My workplace are very um, good at giving me time off for my TA commitments. My um, employer's attitude is very good, you know, they're a large firm and even my case I would get uh, special leave for the TA, so don't have to use any holidays. We give people to up to two weeks paid special leave to go off and do their annual training, and that's uh, paid for and supported by the company. I just take it as a holiday, uh, and that's my two weeks holiday out of my four week entitlement. Because I'm self employed, I can go away whenever I want to and take time off when I want to. The, the company I work for, they've always asked me what we've been doing uh, on, on various weekends, and we do have some functions where the managers can actually turn up as well and see what we do, so they do get involved. They've helped me gain a lot of experience in a lot of different fields and I'm just not going to get that from anything else I do. I think there's a massive skills transference, whether it's actually public speaking or being able to um, be organised. My communication skills have improved, I'm a lot more confident with myself. Before I couldn't stand in front of a group of people and give a lesson. Uh, I have no problems with that now whatsoever. If you haven't got your driving licence, for example, then they'll put you through your driving licence. I've got my heavy goods vehicle at the when I was in the TA, I've got my motorcycle lights at the TA. I'm now driving lorries as well, which got me for a uni. I'm currently going for VM, which is vehicle mechanic. It's something I've never done before. Mounting leader courses, management courses. Working within the TA has actually led us to get me my current job as a driving instructor. The army teaches you to be very organised, to plan your time. I'm doing a, a law degree and also working full time and also a member of the Territorial Army. Employers do like to see that you're part of the TA because it shows you're committed and that you're disciplined. A lot of employers like to know a bit more about your outside interests rather than just when you put on your CV jogging or swimming. But if you can say something like the TA and, and they ask you about it at interviews as I've found uh, and you can be a bit more enthusiastic, it seems, to, it seems to go a long way. From our point of view, we get more rounded individuals and they can improve and develop the skills that we find useful as an organisation. The ability to think on your feet, getting on well with people, the teamwork, the training that they get from the TA benefits us in the long term, so I think it's a win-win situation. This exercise that we're on at the minute, we're just working the same hours as the regulars and doing the same job. Because of the amount of commitments that the regular army has, a lot of our guys are getting asked 
to go and help out basically. We've got cars going all over the place. A lot of the lads are really keen to do it. Everything we do now is with the regular army. All our standards and all our achievements are gauged and tested by the regular army. We're an integral part now of the British forces. The yeah, are now getting called up more and more for operations, so it has definitely changed. This is my second tour. I've done Afghanistan last year. A lot of my young guys have never, never done nothing like this before. They've been trained well to play to come in here. Doing exercise like this, it brings it all back to you why you do actually do it. Farting on me. When I was mobilised, all the training we get given, it, it shows in the bigger picture why you do actually do it. When people get mobilised, we will then uh, look after the partners and families and at the same time we will then guarantee them employment when they come back and make sure that, the, that we will help them to settle back into their work environment. And we'll also give them a full entitlement of annual leave for the period that they've been away. The jobs that we're doing out here are worthwhile and uh, make a big impact on getting Iraq back onto its feet. The camaraderie side of things is based around your platoon basically and we like to go out, we have Friday night, we had a curry night, um, we always have a drink in the bar and a chat, talk about what's going on. You know. They become more than just people you're, you're in the TA with, they become your friends as well. <laughs> You've got that common interest, that bond and I don't think that will ever go away. Tell the truth, if they stop paying me tomorrow I'll still be here because I enjoy it that much get trained, you get paid and you meet friends. What more can you ask for really?